Good morning. Welcome to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Today we celebrate the memorial of the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our celebrant is Father Salvo. This Mass is being offered for the souls in purgatory. Please rise and join in singing our entrance hymn number 577 in the St. Michael hymnal, Immaculate Mary, number 577. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Dear sisters and brothers, as we begin these sacred mysteries on this memorial of the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, let us begin by recalling our sins and asking our Lord to grant us his peace, his mercy, and his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to yourself. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, Grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked and there was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a sound from heaven like the sound of rushing water or a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpists playing with their harps. They were singing what seemed to be a new hymn before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn this hymn except the 144,000 who had been ransomed from the earth. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. They have been ransomed as the first fruits of the human race for God and the Lamb. On their lips, no deceit has been found. They are unblemished. The word of the Lord. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He whose heart, whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Stay awake, for you do not know when the sun of Thank you. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into, tre into the treasury. And he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. For those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. This week is Thanksgiving, and throughout this week, we should be meditating and contemplating something that we should always be meditating and contemplating on, which is gratitude, which is something that we should not just think about, but be something that we put into practice to the point that it becomes second nature in our life. And when we are grateful, one of the many things that happens, one of the many blessings that come from it is that we do not take the blessings our Lord gives us for granted. It's no surprise here that this poor widow that Jesus commands in today's gospel was so generous because not only is that something that through the ages and in present time we see over and over again people, often people that are, that are having financial difficulties are actually extremely generous when it comes to God and, and, and others, but because God allowed her that poverty, that lack, into the point that she would not take anything for granted. Whereas perhaps not all of them, but the wealthy people that Jesus saw here did take it for granted, their, their wealth, their money, and, and therefore they, they gave from their surplus wealth as if nothing. She gave this sacrifice because in her gratitude, she knew that it was a blessing. Whatever little she had, it was a blessing that came from God and that she wanted to then share with God. And that is something that we must all cultivate from gratitude because we all have many blessings. And sometimes we also have lack. And, and with gratitude though, we see the moment that, we, that God hears our prayers, that, that he is there with us. And today, in today's memorial, we celebrate this beautiful presentation of our Blessed Virgin Mary, which exactly comes from that. Because the tradition is, this is not in the gospel, but it's the tradition of the church that Joachim and Anna, Mary's parents, they struggled with infertility and, and they were, could not conceive. And of course, that, like it always happens, was a, a great sorrow for them, something that they prayed a lot about. And then, of course, after many years of them not being able to conceive a baby, they receive the baby Virgin Mary. And what a beautiful gift that, of course, they were not going to take uh, for granted. And they thank God fully for that gift. So they offered as a promise that because God had given her the baby, that they were going to present her and give her to the temple, which was a custom at the time that, that girls would sometimes be offered to go work in the temple and learn in the temple and, and help in the temple and, and to, be, to be given to God. Uh, and they did that when she was three years old because they were so grateful that God had sent them their baby Mary that now they were giving her back to God. And look what happened. Mary, of course, through that offering to God, through the fact that our Blessed Mother was given to God and she gave herself to God, she brought in Jesus Christ into the world. And that is a beautiful thing because perhaps if Joachim and Anna had not gone through that period of infertility and perhaps if they would not have had that lack, perhaps Mary would have been taken for granted. But of course she was not because she was a gift from God. And, and, and that is how we have to see every blessing that we receive always, that everything is a gift from God. And sometimes when we're missing something and then we receive it, that's when we really begin to appreciate it. God bless you. And now let us ask our Heavenly Father to help us with all of our needs. Mm -hmm. 
Let us pray for members of the church throughout the world. May the outpouring of the Holy Spirit sanctify each one of us in our daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all entrusted with leadership in the world, may God grant them vision and courage in working toward a more just and a humane world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the hungry, may they receive their fill through the overabundant love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here and anyone watching at home, being part of the Mass at home or on Sirius FM radio, may the Holy Spirit guide us in becoming an ever more forgiving and gracious people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may God bring them to everlasting life in the peace of his Son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear and accept these prayers and petitions we offer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered. No request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread 
and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle St. Patrick, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, our Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Oh, God. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join in singing our communion hymn, number 636. My soul rejoices, number 636. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Speaking of gratitude and generosity we are always grateful for all of the generosity and support that we receive from all our parishioners including everyone at home and and, and hearing us all over the place and and during this time of thanksgiving of christmas it's a time of giving and we not only are grateful for everything you've given us we humbly ask that you be generous during this time so that we can continue all of our programs here, like the virtual mass every day and, 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 and of course the upkeep of this beautiful building 
and where everyone uh, is welcome as their spiritual home. So please uh, remember St. Patrick's Cathedral during this time of giving because it's for the good of so many and, 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 um, and as the temple needed it at the time of Jesus, we still need that generosity. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. And on this day, let us ask, let us ask our Blessed Mother that she may help us to always be grateful and generous and that she may present ourselves, she may present each and every one of us to our Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And have a beautiful day, everyone. Please join in singing our recessional hymn number 503, Daily, Daily Sing to Mary, number 503.